I play Seth, who works at the morgue with Amy, who's played by Danielle. Uh, basically, we're there when Jacob Goodnight's body and the bodies of the others uh, that are left from the first one come in, and uh, the chaos ensues. And uh, tell me, how was it working with uh, Glenn Siegel? Fantastic. Fantastic. I tell you, this guy's got some great acting chops, and he's just an awesome, awesome guy to work with. We had a lot of fun. And he's fast as hell. When he's running at you, you, you get moving pretty pretty fast. That's pretty scary. It's deceiving, yeah. And especially when the directors don't tell you that he's going to run at you, and out of nowhere, all of a sudden, he's charging you. Yeah, you, you book it pretty quick. I am. I am. Ever since I was a kid. Yeah. Um... Well, I think it's different than a lot of uh, horror movies because it doesn't follow the specific trend of predictability uh, that most movies have. Um, the, the other cool thing about the second one is that you don't have to have seen the first one to kind of jump in. You know, if you haven't seen the first one, you can watch the second one. It's not a big deal. You don't need to play catch up. Um, and in the first one, all the kills are sort of similar, whereas in the second one, they've really amped it up. They've got exciting and different uh, kills for the people. So. And what would you rate Jacob Goodnight among, you know, other famous iconic horror films? Oh, hell, I think he's scarier than, than Jason and, and uh, Michael Myers, for sure. Did you take both of them? Oh, yeah! Right? Hells yeah! Hells yeah! He's bigger, he's stronger, he's scarier. Are you kidding? What is some of your favorite scary movies? Sorry? What is some of your favorite horror movies? Uh, well, I, I, you know, I grew up kind of with the classics, Freddy. You know, uh, Nightmare on M Street's a trippy one for me because it kind of gets inside your brain because you're... you're you know, it's in your dreams, and so it's not like, re re you know, normal reality. Uh, Jason's a good one. You know, it's a classic. Um, Cabin in the Woods is really good. That's one of my newer, newer favorites. So, yeah, there's some good newer, uh, newer films coming out. And uh, when Halloween coming up, do you do anything kind of special? Anything? Gonna hit some haunted houses in the neighborhood and uh, try and get scared. And, uh, Have you been to any of the summer nights? No, uh, not this year. Not this year. I think this year we're gonna stay local, do the haunted houses. This thing is coming out on Blu-ray, so I'll own it and uh, probably have friends over and watch that. And, uh, what are you, you going to wear? Are you going to go with Jacob Goodnight? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mini Jacob Goodnight, yep. Yep, I'm just going to shave my head and uh, see if Prop still has the mask and I'm good to go. Now, what is one thing like fans will uh, be surprised um, because, because it's not your predictable, stereotypical horror movie, I think it's it's not just going to shock them, but it might even flip the whole horror genre upside down. You know, these movies tend to follow a predictable formula, and I think ours is, is a little bit different. So I think it makes it more exciting and new, kind of revives things to make it exciting, so you don't see what's coming. So hopefully, you know, it inspires uh, some changes.